Listen, a lot of young men today want to be on the path of success. But at the same time, you're faced with the question, should I chase relationship with a woman? Because everyone on the internet today tells you, don't do it, it's a distraction, be on monk mode. So we're gonna talk about that today. And honestly, before I even tell you why I think it could go both ways, it could be a yes, it could be a no. I'm gonna give you guys a bit more insight on why I think this, and as usual, like I said, I'm always gonna explain things from my point of view. But if you're new here, drop a subscription, man. It's just down below, it's free, so lock in, man. I try to spit some wisdom every now and again, and I hope you guys stay locked in. Here's the thing. The reason why I said this could be a no is because of this. A lot of young men today chase relationships, and if you're on your path to success, there's no doubt that you could be distracted because obviously you're going to, your time is going to be split be between your goals and the woman and stuff. But there's nothing wrong with that if you actually see something long-term with that lady. <coughs> because if you don't, honestly, man, that's just a waste of your time. And here's the thing. If you are on the path to success and you're watching my stuff, I know you're going to succeed already because your mindset and everything is already on a different plane. But if you're on the path to success and you're doing everything right, what tends to happen is you will see success without a doubt. I know that for a fact. But what's the point of having everything that you want if you don't have someone to share it with? Listen, one of the core things that humans want is that need to feel loved is that need to feel cherished is that need to need to have someone by your side so if you have everything that you want and you have nothing no one to share it with what's the point because if you're the kind of guy right now who's really focused and everything and everything's going to going is going to go really well for you what tends to happen in the future is one things do actually go well for you because you've been so detached from relationships for a really long time you you don't pick up on certain cues that give you that that should let let you know that someone isn't good for you and that person is just there to take away from you and you start to maybe build the perfect relationship with that person that's only there to take away from you because you focus on something for too long. Listen, is my is my in my view, man, that if you're a focused man, you should still be open to exploring relationships. Because if you can find someone that meets, that if you can have someone that is with you from the ground up, that's how you start to, that's how you know that person is there for you, for real. But if you're the kind of guy or you're trying to chase relationships that you're just chasing them because you're bored, you just don't want to spend time by yourself, that's when it gets tricky and that's when you could fall into the trap of <sighs> distractions. It's only a distraction with a woman when you're distracting yourself from the work or you're distracting yourself by spending time with someone that you don't see a potential future with. That's the only time this counts as, as a distraction. If I'm being very honest with you, I feel like having a woman in your life should not be the vein. That, like, bro, there are 24 hours in a day. You spend eight to six hours of that time in bed. Like, you have your time to do your work. You also have that time to socialize because you don't want to be someone who is too good at something. Maybe you're ultra successful, but then you have, like, your whole life is, is, is missing something. I don't understand that there's a balance in life. You have to understand that there's a balance in life with different things that you do and stuff. However, understanding that having that balance with the relationships as well, that's where the key is. Because... All the gurus on here in the self-development space they tell you, stay away from women, oh, women this, oh, don't, trust me, these guys don't know what they're talking about. And like I said, I always speak from my point of view because I've been in relationships that didn't serve me and I've had to cut ties with those relationships. And I promised myself that the next time I'm going to be in a relationship, it, was, it would be something that... I could potentially see myself being with that person long term. 
And here's the thing, once you start to have that type of mindset, you're not in a hurry to find something, you're just accepting of it, if that comes to you, that's when those things start to come to you because you're in that receiving mode. But if you start to move a bit desperate, which will most likely happen once you achieve all those things and then you're eager to find someone to share it with, that's when you start to give up that desperate energy, that desperate vibe, and that's when all those gold diggers can cling on to you because they know that you don't have those social clues and you, cues and you don't have that understanding of how people actually work listen having a great understanding of human relationships makes you bro like you need to be very careful with the person you want to pick to be your wife or your long-term par partner and if you're saving that decision for loss because you want to focus on material things or you want to focus on s success listen there are different types of success in life man like people have material success but not not success with relationships you have a lot of these rich guys who end up being with a girl and that girl wants to end things with them because they were not they were never there for who that person was. You need to find your person before you become who you want to be. But on your path to finding that person, you have to have your goals at the center or the core of your life and be accepting of those things if they come. If they don't come, it's okay. But you're not going to shut everything down just so you can have that only that sole focus. Because with everything in life, there's sacrifices that must be made. And your sacrifice that you're making right now, when you're focused on yourself, is you're not going out there to search. You're just, if it comes to you, it comes to you, you're going to accept it. So don't listen to all these guys that's going to tell you like, oh my bro, no, 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 no. Just focus on that goal, bro. You can speak to a woman and that woman is not going to control your life or occupy all your time. You can, it's possible. If you want it to happen, it will happen because you're going to, go over and beyond to make sure that you succeed with it but <sighs> it blows my mind when i see guys talk about like stuff like this though but anyway i just thought i'll come on here and share this with you guys because i genuinely genuinely don't think women having a woman in your life is a distraction but <clears throat> the only point where you might want to start drawing the line is if being with that lady starts to make you compromise on your goals that's when there's an issue have firm boundaries say the things that you want to do and be very like say that with the confidence like i need to do this i can't chill now i need to do certain things and trust me she might resent that but she's going to respect that because at the very core most women want a guy that's ambitious because women get to pick the guys that they want to be with because bro if you're if you're especially if you're in a place like the us or the uk man like there's so many options with social media so she gets to pick who she wants and more time women don't really care about what the guy might have now but they can look at the ambition they see the trajectory so she might be willing to make certain compromises for you because she sees the vision pro tip don't settle for less don't be with a girl that you know you don't want to be with but you're keeping her around because you know you guys are intimate and everything trust me or maybe she's hot and then that's the only reason you want to keep her there please don't do that it's going to come back you in the ass man and it's just going to give you unnecessary stress pick someone that picks you that's my number one advice and pick someone that you genuinely want to be with but don't let that be your sole focus focus on you until the focus is on you but that doesn't mean you should shut out everything else. Also have time for you because trust me, you don't want to achieve all those things and you have you have no way to like interact with people because you became this nerd loser guy who was stuck in his basement the whole time because he wasn't interacting with other people. <sighs> that was all I have to say to you guys today, man. And yeah, I love been loving the consistency lately on the channel. And if you're new here, just make sure you drop a follow and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys soon. Also, if you have any questions about anything in general, just make sure you let me know in the comment section. And another thing, I have a free school community for you guys who want to get in shape. Listen, lock the fuck in, man. Like, literally, I want you guys to really lock in because I'm not going to have the free school community for too long. I'm going to leave the the link to join below and if you want to log in you want workouts from me how i've been able to build my bo my body listen i was i've been able to put on over 100 pounds of muscle over the last three years 
four years, like four-ish years. That didn't happen by accident. And I'm giving you guys everything you need to do to make the same results for yourself for absolutely free. So I'm gonna see you guys in there. Have a good rest of your day. And if you have any questions, like I said, drop it below. And I'll see you guys soon.